Hey guys, welcome back to Size Boys Review. I am Size. Have you guys finished the first season of The Witch from Mercury? Today, I will review the high grade Lanza Standard and Londa's Custom from the series. Opening the box, you get two gray runners, two light green runners, a mixed color runner, and one green effect part. One sticker sheet is in the box with a standard high grade instruction manual. If this is the first time you found my videos, I make kit reviews, custom builds, and tutorials. I update weekly. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. I also have recently made a Discord server. Feel free to scan the QR code and become an early member. The link is also in the description. MD0031L Londas Delenza is the custom version of MD0031 Delenza, a mobile suit developed by Jerturk Heavy Machinery. It was designed with a balance of power output and durable armor. It is equipped with high output thrusters and hovering units to compensate for its large frame. Lana Neo is the pilot of the Lanza. He is Guo Jeturk's half sibling and the deputy leader of the Jeturk House of Aztecasia School of Technology. So now, let us talk about articulations. The head is on ball joint, but it doesn't lift up much. It can rotate like so. Shoulders have good forward and upward range. The shield can rotate and flip up. Each arm is double jointed with minimum motion at the wrist. The torso can move from side to side with a decent forward bend. The front skirt armors move up as well as the back skirts. The panels also lift up. The Lanza can do a front back split and almost do a side split. Each leg is double jointed. Each foot can also rotate in all directions with some tiny articulations at the front. Inside the Lanza's shoulder, there is a beam torch and a rifle with its magazine. There is also a giant axe for Londa's custom. You can switch the shields, antenna and backpack panel for the standard type de Lanza. In terms of seam lines, there are on the Lanza's legs, axe and rifle. For color accuracies, you need to fill in the colors for the eyes and stripes on the shields. You also need to fill in the black for the thrusters and vents. Once again, here is a height comparison between Guo's Lanza and my RX-78, which is about 13cm tall. Personally, I really like the standard type Lanza, so for me, this is a great release. Like Guo's Lanza, this kit is easy to assemble with decent articulations. It also comes with extra parts to replicate Londa's custom. If you like the Lanza or want to make a cool custom version, this is a great buy. How do you guys feel about the Lanza compared to Guo's the Lanza? Will you buy it? Let me know. That is all from me. Special thanks to Plamod for providing this kit for review. Plamod is the official banner distributor in Canada, buy from Canadian hobby businesses to give them some support. If you enjoyed this review, Please like and subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit the notification bell for more in the future. Leave some suggestions in the comments and tell me what kit you want to see next. 
You can follow my Instagram and Twitter for almost daily updates. If you're willing to help me out, I also have a Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. Scythe here. I will see you next time.